Let's apply what we know about powers and their properties to scientific notation. With scientific notation, we can apply the property of the distribution of a power to two products by taking 5 times 10 to the negative fourth all raised to the power 2 and distribute this 2 to both the 5 and the 10 to the negative fourth and we would get 5 squared times 10 to the negative fourth all raised to the second power. Now I apply my power raised to a power for exponents and I have 5 squared times 10 to the negative 4 times 2 and that's going to equal 5 squared equals 25 times 10 to the negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Our next example, 3.2 times 10 to the second all raised to the fifth power. Again, I distribute my power to each of my products. So I have 3.2 raised to the fifth power times 10 squared raised to the fifth power also. 3.2 2 raised to the fifth power times 10 to the second all raised to the fifth power is 10 raised to the 2 times 5. I'm raising a power to a power. So I end up with 3.2 to the fifth power times 10 to the tenth power. The associative property for multiplication means we can rearrange our, pro our factors any way we want and we'll still get the same result. So if I have a times b and I multiply it by c times d, I can rearrange these factors so that a times c times b times d is the same. That applies to scientific notation when I have 2.3 times 10 to the third times 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. I can rearrange these and put like factors together. So I have 2.3 times 1.0 times 10 to the third times 10 to the negative fifth. Now, 2.3 times 1.0 is 2.3, so I just multiply these two factors, and then times 10 to the third times 10 to the negative fifth, I apply the property of powers. I have the same like base, so I add my exponents. So 2.3 times 10, my like base, 3 plus negative 5. I end up with 2.3 times 10 to the negative 2. Our last example for the associative property of scientific notation. Again, I can rearrange these two scientific numbers associatively with products. I have 2.1 times 3.0, so I combine these two, times 10 to the fourth times 10 squared. That gives me 2.1 times 3 is 6.3 times, I have 10 to the fourth times 10 to the second, that's 10 to the four plus 2, so I end up with 6.3 times 10 to the 6th.